what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Modern Natalia Harris died Thursday of renal medullary carcinoma, a rare cancer of the kidney that predominantly afflicts young adults and is almost exclusively associated with sickle cell trait. According to her bio, she had participated in New York Fashion Week at the Lincoln Center. She's done campaigns for Foot Locker, Delta Airlines. She's participated on a number of episodes of Project Runway. She's put some work in. And she's also done the cover of Vogue magazine. Not a slouch. But what really raised an eyebrow for me on this story was how young she was and the fact that she had beat cancer once when she was 12, she was first diagnosed. She said she had a lump in her right leg and she had to undergo several surgeries and therapy sessions to get her leg repaired. And eventually she bounced back, she got into modeling and 10 years later, as she's soaring, she's doing her thing, they find a lump in her right kidney and they tell her that they need to operate immediately. So they give her instructions that, okay, we're gonna have to do chemo. And she's like, no. She said she took ownership of her body and decided she was not going to do chemo. Instead, she would detoxify her body with natural remedies and herbs. She says she did a lot of praying. She changed her lifestyle, changed her eating habits, and she leaned on faith. That part right there got me because I know that's got to be tough. Everybody that talk about chemotherapy, it's always like, man, it's, they say it's horrible. It drains you. And oftentimes it kills you. So there are people out there that are very reluctant to go through chemotherapy. Natalia having went through it once, she didn't want to go through it again. So you know, she was doing real good. And then it hit her again. And this time she succumbed. You got to wonder, like, if you're ever in that type of position, what would you choose? Because it's easy to say what you would choose if you've never been in that position. You can only wonder. I've been around people who are no longer here who have to make that choice. And it was a hell of a choice. So far, everybody that I've known actually went through chemotherapy. And it destroyed them. I mean, it took them out. But it's very risky. You know, most people in America don't believe in natural remedies. Some people are going to say, well, if she had taken the chemotherapy, she probably would have stood a better chance. But there are people that forwent chemotherapy treatment and survived uh, going the natural route. So my question to you guys is, what do you think would be the proper route for you if you found yourself in that position? Like, what would you prefer? The medicine or the natural remedies? I guess either one could be medicine, but I'm talking about the pharmaceutical stuff, the doctor stuff, the chemical stuff. I'm talking about that stuff. Which one? I, I, I'll tell you straight up, I don't know. I don't know which one I would choose. That's a tough decision. But I was watching some video of her 
She seemed to be a real nice person. Her mother and her were extremely close. I saw a video with her and her mother. And it's just really, really weird that she fought through that. And she seemed very healthy when she was talking about having taken control of her own life and saying, you know, I'm going to make decisions. If I go out, I'm going to go out on my own terms. And that she did. Some people will find fault in that, but how many people in life get to go out on their own terms? Not many. R.I.P. Natalia Harris. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?